Okay, welcome back. We are back for some more Nekopar Volume 2. Alright, last time, well, we kind of went out. And um, we went out with uh, Coconut, and she joined us um, with uh, Vanilla and Chocolate, and we rescued a cat girl! The cat girl that we seen in Volume 1 uh, pretty early. We didn't see her, of course, see her later in it or anything, so we, she got her little view back again. She was back in the story a little bit. So we might actually see her again as well because they've been invited over to the shop. Now, whether we will or not, well, maybe not in this uh, volume. Maybe in the next one. But it looks like, you know, Coconut has, you know, was down and everything. And... Of course, at the end, she started to get a little, uh, end of our recording, that is, she, you know, was getting a little bit more happier, you know, and everything. She definitely has a very nice side of her, and I think she looks, she doesn't look at herself, she, she's way too harsh on herself, because I think she looks at herself as being larger than the others, you know, a bigger cat girl, more muscular and everything like that. I guess more mannish, more brutish, maybe. <laughs> that she finds it as a negative. Now, I don't really, personally, I don't really care. I mean, some people find tall women attractive. You know, there's nothing wrong with such things. And she seems like a nice cat girl. She definitely does. And those things do have their advantage. She was able to rescue that little cat girl who we found out finally her name, Milk. Kind of a lame name in a way, but what, what, what am I going to say? It, I guess it's not too bad. I mean, you got chocolate, vanilla, coconuts, <laughs> maple. <laughs> they're not very... I guess they're kind of names that you might name an animal. I'm not going to lie. Even animals that I've named are kind of stupid. Uh, I'm not going to lie. Some of, them, some of the animals I've named in the past are not very good names. <laughs> like, my turtle's name. It's a joke with some of my uh, uh, friends and coworkers. My turtle's name. I have a turtle. His name is Mr. Turtle. Yep. His name is Mr. Turtle. Not Turtle. Not Mr. Mr. Turtle. <laughs> Some people find it lame. I think it's kind of cool. He is Mr. Turtle. Give him a monocle and everything in the top hat. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's start this damn thing up. Ah, uh, well, it's just that... Er, uh, sorry. Shinkai greets us with an, an intimidating pose. <laughs> oh, coming up on my excuse, are you trying to? Hey, it's not good to lie, Chocolate. <laughs> I love that face that Vanilla always gives. You guys aren't very, uh, very good at lying, are you? Oh, Azuki. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh no! Well, yeah, you just give it away. You just told them exactly what you were doing. They wouldn't have thought, oh, takoyaki. You know, I really wonder what takoyaki tastes like. I have to tell you the truth, I'm not exactly sure what it is. I might have to look that up. But, sounds like it might have seaweed in it or something. Or at least some form of takoyaki might. Mold? Why do you have mold in your teeth? What the hell, Vanilla? Why do you got mold in your teeth? Blue <laughs> like, I don't have mold in my teeth. How dare you? You guys are 
awfully lying. I even said to him, I was like, that wasn't very good. Azuki probably gonna be, you know, gonna give them a talking to. <laughs> don't, don't max cat girl sisters. <laughs> That's what it says. That's kind of expecting, un unexpected. I didn't expect the game to tell me, hey, these are dumbass cat girl sisters. Nah, <laughs> Well, at least Sigure is pretty understanding. Yeah, a lot of stuff happened. Sorry about that. My, Shigure has some. She's, you know, I doubt he would do anything, but man, she. She tempts her brother so much by being like, give me a kiss and all the other stuff all the time. <laughs> that if he didn't, if he was more, probably more in, actually found her maybe attractive or something, it might be, he might actually start having her, I wouldn't follow him for it. She's like, continues to <laughs> seduce him in a way, kind of, I don't know, maybe I'm t taking that the wrong way. <laughs> Oh, she's. Oh, oh, what the hell? Go, oh, Nolly, go ahead. My lizard sister is trying her hardest to get me to kiss her. That's what I mean. She. I never know if she's really joking. But she does seem serious, and I think she is serious. I don't think they're jokes. She really wants him to kiss her. I can tell that her brother complex is getting much worse. I didn't uh, end up goofing off a bit while on the clock. That much is true, but... Sure, we are siblings after all. Oh, is she going to get all flustered from this? <laughs> On the cheek, on the cheek, a smooch on the cheek. As you can see, the camera moved. Oh, even if it's on the cheek, I bet you she's gonna be like, oh no. I give Sigure a light peck on the cheek. I knew it! I knew it! <laughs> Don't look at that <laughs> That's, that's awesome. He did awesome. He played along great. Without actually giving her a kiss on the lips and going overboard into maybe not that, but still playing along and still giving her a kiss. Just not the kiss that she was jokingly about. I don't think I don't think she was expecting him to actually go with it and be like, you know what? You always play these little jokes with me. I'm gonna make you so embarrassed. <laughs> what the hell? What the f- What the f- What the hell is that? Uh oh, she collapsed. Uh, those, those eyes. <laughs> Nosebleeds like that don't really happen. You see them in animes all the time. That nosebleeds, you know, when certain things happen or, you know, like a character sees a girl naked, like all of a sudden they're unclothed or whatever, and then... No, no, no. That stuff's all fake. It doesn't really happen. Shigure-chan got Chinomi ni yokotawatte ryo! 
<laughs> my. No, don't go towards the light. ちょっとかしょ。あんた実の妹に何てことするのよ。殺す気。そんな、ベンズバッド。そうですよ。シグレちゃんが極楽に一般の死になっちゃってるじゃないですか。シグレちゃんが極楽に一般の死になっちゃ
Here's, it's thanks for coconut. Okay. Coconut? Mm, did something happen? Oh. So she's looking back on her previous actions and kind of feels sorry for maybe some of the harsh things she might have said. Hmm. Well, I guess that means more or less that she didn't, might not have meant it. It just was kind of a, a moment type of thing that maybe she blurted it out. She scratches her cheek, embarrassed. Her eyes frantically dart to and fro. She looks up at me, grateful. So, she was worried, huh? I guess what makes her able to do her job so well is the fact that she pays attention to even the little details. She already thinks so too. Although she can be pretty blunt sometimes, deep down she actually does care. She exaggerates her gestures in an attempt to hide her embarrassment. Coconut's an important part of our family. Of course, we'd all be concerned if she's feeling down. Besides, I should be thanking you, Azuki. You've been a huge help with the shop and all. Thanks. <laughs> a snappy comeback. I guess, in her own way, she takes her work seriously. She might try to play it off as just doing her job, but she does everything she can to help out. It makes me happy that she cares so much about her work. It's nothing. Anyway, guess we're even. Oh shit, she has to go to the hospital. Man, did she lose that much blood? Huh? The hospital? <laughs> Shikuri's kind of sitting there smiling on an angle there. Are you supposed to be carrying her soon? Is that what that's supposed to represent? My, 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 she is in fantasy world at the moment. <laughs> and so, Lasle ended up having to close for the rest of the day. On a side note, Shigure sprang back to life pretty quickly. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> he really did it with that kiss. <laughs> oh, 
What's with that face, Chocolate? I think she's giving us a serious face. She seems to really want to say something. Those ears are all perked up like that. She seems to be serious about whatever she wants to say. Oh, what's with the formality all of a sudden? Eh, this is about dinner. And then it'll be ready soon. Just wait. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> She's like, was that it? Was that what it was about? I said dinner, didn't I? <laughs> that's what I was thinking. Um, that's not dinner. Parfait's not dinner. Well, well, what did you want to talk about? Okay, I hear you're serious, Chocolate. All right. Relax, relax. So, what's up? Okay. <laughs> okay. Vanilla. <laughs> I like this. He's uh he's playing with her. <laughs> oh, it's a face again. I I love it when she makes that face. It's just so funny. Sorry, I couldn't resist. <laughs> Why? Chin rub. <laughs> I'm gonna rub your chin. Okay. Looks like you've calmed down. So, what's this about all of a sudden? Are you girls jealous? Is this jealousy I see here? Is that what this is? It's not like he's having sex with the other girls. <laughs> well, as far as we know, that's not going to happen. Well, as far as I know, this is the all-ages version, so I would have to play the rated version. Does that happen? It does make me curious. It makes me wonder if that really is going to happen. Oh, if I look complete. <laughs> I'm not giving the other cat girls any more attention than I give you two, though. I think they're jealous. They're definitely jealous. <laughs> the cheaty playboy. I can't take Vanilla serious on that. But, Chocola? Vanilla, stop saying things like that. You're, you're putting things into Chocolate's mind. You're definitely going to be a bad influence on her. Oh, really? I didn't hear anything from Chocolate. Just you talking, Vanilla. Are you guilty in case closed? <laughs> So he's he's guilty. He's guilty, he's a cheating playboy. Is that what you're saying? Case closed. Well, they're right that Shigure and the other caracals have started working at the shop. Which, naturally, means that I've been spending more time talking with the others and less time with chocolate and vanilla. It's not like I'm cheating on them or anything though. Well, so far you're not. 
I mean, yeah, as I said, he hasn't, like, had sex with them or anything, or gone intimate in any, any fashion, I would say. I mean, he probably is talking to the other cat girls and really not too much different than he probably did before he left the house. The two girls puff their cheeks out as they voice their complaints. It's kind of a pain, but at the same time, it makes them all the cuter. Okay, okay, I get it. So, what do you want me to do then? I think that's all they're really asking. I don't think it's as complicated, but it just means they want a little more time with you. I don't know how he's gonna make more time with them. Maybe he's gotta be a little more mindful? Maybe? I, I don't know. It, to me, it's like, you know, half the day is work. You know, I, he, he kind of lives where he works, though, <laughs> which I think is part of the part of the pain uh, problem of the whole situation. He's work and he's having relations with a couple of the cat girls that he's working with and then others that aren't. So I think he has caused the whole entire um, pleasure and work mixed together uh, problem <laughs> where you don't really want to mix those things that much because it just leads to issues. Yeah, that's true. Okay, I guess I can indulge you once in a while. I sit down on the living room sofa and pat my lap, beckoning them. Oh, asking them to come over and sit on your lap, right? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> my mom, I, they put their heads on his lap. <laughs> At least they're easy to please. That's what it seems like. <laughs> The two squirm around atop my thighs as I pat their heads. It's great that you're happy and all, but don't squirm so much. It's dangerous. Okay, I'm gonna clean a little deeper now, so he's cleaning their ears. That's why I've come to the conclusion and what they've kind of already mentioned Chocolate did. Let me know if it tickles or starts hurting, okay? I pull their pointed ears upward and gently rub their ears with some slightly moistened cotton. <laughs> he must be a master touching the cat's ears. There's nothing erotic about it. Oh, you never know. Maybe the cat girls touching their ears is very sensual. You know, if there was a cat girl, I would I would definitely want to touch their ears. 
and touches her tail. You know what? It would be hard not to give a little tug on the tail. Not, not because I want to hurt him, because I want to see what the, re the re what would happen from the, the, the reaction. Because, you know, I, I have some cats at, at the house, and I, I like to tongue on their tail a little bit <laughs> from time to time. It's like, boop, boop. <laughs> I got your tail. I got your tail. <laughs> Except for one. One of our cats has a little stubby tail. He's a... An American bobtail. Doesn't really have a tail. It's more like a little stub. It's been a while since I've cleaned their ears. I try to remember how to clean cats' ears as I softly wipe theirs. Well, they aren't exactly cats. They take baths just like a human every day, so their outer ears aren't really dirty either. Alright, I'm gonna clean the other ear now, okay? Good to know. Alright, gonna clean the inside of your other ear now. No moving, okay? I flip the cotton swab around. And begin rubbing it along the inside of her outer ear. Oh, oh, my, my, my. They must really like him. Technique again? <laughs> I'm pretty sure pastry puffing has nothing to do with this. I'm not sure if she's complimenting me or just messing with me. I think she is complimenting you, but in a joking fashion. She's trying, she's doing her whole vanilla thing, you know, that you would expect vanilla to do. But it is also a compliment. I think she really does like it. I ignore the unnecessary moans coming from the two cat girls and continue to clean their ears. I'm going to go even deeper now, okay? <laughs> you cat girls are the ones who are making this kind of dirty. <laughs> with your noises and stuff. It's like it's like he's having sex with yourself. <laughs> Now that they've said this dirty thing, now I'm, now I'm picturing dirty thoughts in my mind. Now this is what dirty talking of, of the ear cleaning now. Now that they, they've, they've put those ideas in my head. When I first started this, I wasn't thinking about that too much. But now that they've mentioned some dirty stuff and other things like that. Now I kept not picturing him going away at him and them saying these things <laughs> yeah yeah don't move now okay I click really grab a new con swap and continue cleaning their ears <sighs> oh no are they starting to drool a little there <laughs> they got little hearts in their eyes I just noticed that I don't them have that has to be new I don't remember seeing it in the previous image, before it changed. Well, from what I can remember, but I see little hearts in their eyes. Oh no, not the catnip thing again. <laughs> we remember what happened then! <laughs> G 
Beasties, at least keep your saliva in check. They make some pretty funny faces when they're this happy. Well, in any case, as long as they're enjoying it, nothing wrong with that. They really enjoy it, they enjoy it. I never knew that cleaning the cat, cat girl's ear would be so pleasurable. It must be pretty sensitive in that area then. It might cause an inflammation in your ears, so no. But now is that that technique thing again? <laughs> he must be really good with the this cat cleaning ears. He, he, he must be like a master. <laughs> you guys just don't care anymore, do you? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, she's not sleeping, are you? It was that good that it knocked her out. And her out. Well, they're sound asleep. I pat them on their heads as they sleep peacefully. And they sure enjoy the ear cleaning. I really should try to cherish moments like this more. Especially since they're always by my side. They adore me so much, too. I'd like to do something for them in return. I stand up, making sure not to wake the two cat girls. I guess I should take a bath while I have the chance. I'll wipe the drool off chocolate and vanilla's face. <laughs> the drool! <laughs> and take my now drool-covered pants off. is now drool cover pants off. <sighs> Baths sure are great. I soak myself in the warm bath and let out a long sigh. After splashing hot water on my face, I gaze at the ceiling. A lot happened today, huh? Azuki's doing her best and has been keeping the store's best interest in mind. Coconut saved the cat girl and got some self-confidence back too. It has really been a busy day. I reflect on the day's events as I stretch out in the tub. Oh no! Is chocolate and both chocolate and vanilla gonna join in the bath? I had a feeling this was gonna happen. Oh, the two of you were asleep, so I decided to head in first. I'll be done in a bit, so just wait a minute. I don't think they're going to wait a minute, man. I think they're going to barge right in there. I speak to the silhouettes just beyond the frosted glass door. Judging by their movements, they're probably discussing something. Probably discussing whether to go in or not. Soon, I see Chocolate and Vanilla nod and beginning to head this way. See? I knew it. I knew they were probably they weren't wanted to join in. Huh? Join me? <laughs> that we will be joining you. Like, we're already naked. We're coming in. She didn't mean to ask. We're, we, we're just gonna barge right in. <laughs> you have no choice. We're gonna do it anyways. But, you know, I don't see anything wrong with that. I mean, hey. He's already seen them naked plenty of times. They've gone at it. <laughs> and, hey, they live together. They want to join in, they want to join in. No, you haven't. I can see that much, at least. Did she lie? Did Vanilla just lie? Is that what he's saying? She did lie. That lying, Vanilla. Ah, you, you are caught in a lie, Vanilla! Then, <laughs> With the rustling of clothes, the silhouettes take on the color of skin. 
Hey, wait. Are there voices accompanying the opening of the bathroom door? And I'm assuming that there was a scene there of stuff that probably happened. I sense, I sense that that was a scene that was just cut out. Because it kind of ended abruptly right there. That, that is a mature 18 plus scene in the 18 plus version. I'm going to have to check that out. See if that was. Seems like a point in time that it would occur. Not to mention every time we've seen when they've gone at it. They've always ended in bed like this. You two sure are childish for grown cat girls. I sit there comfortably, thinking, as my two cat girls lean on either arm. I stare up at the ceiling, a content smile spreading across my face. I had a vague idea of what I'd be like when I opened the shop, but can I really live out each day in happiness? Having chocolate and vanilla here by my side? Sounds like something a pet owner would say. I stare lovingly at their adorable sleeping faces and gently rub their heads. They always mumble every time. Come on now, get over here and hop in your futons. Don't be ridiculous, you two. Come on, let's go. Let's do the purse. Well, maybe he is. <laughs> Hey, Vanilla does not mind that he's a pervy pastier. <laughs> Nothing's really changed. It's the same as always. The calm of the night then quickly washed over us. You know what? I think this is a good enough spot to end off here. Well, guys, we seem to have gone through the rest of this day. And Azuki kind of was down a little bit and thanked us. So it seems that Azuki does have some... Does care still and still acts, you know, like the older cat girl from time to time. I think she just has a, maybe a slightly harder time of expressing you know, some of her feelings sometimes. And it's nice to see that Coconut got a little bit better in her way. And then of course you got Shigure bleeding everywhere. That was funny. I, I like that. <laughs> and of course, we had another intimate moment with chocolate and vanilla. Other than the pervy ear cleaning, there was definitely a scene there that I, I definitely think there was in the bathroom that we did not get to see because 18 plus. <laughs> well, guys, thank you for watching this, and you all have a great day. <laughs>